Beneath our feet lies a realm of unseen mysteries, vast and profound, waiting to be unearthed. One such enigma unfolded in the heart of Illinois, USA, in the year 2014. Scientists, armed with the precision of seismometers, made a startling revelation, a discovery that redefined our perception of the Earth's interior. A massive subterranean ocean was found, not in the upper crust, as one might expect, but near the very core of our planet, a staggering 400 miles beneath the mantle. The sheer magnitude of this underground reservoir is mind-boggling with an estimated volume that potentially triples that of all our known oceans combined. An ocean hidden from human eyes, tucked away in the bowels of the earth, where no sunlight reaches and no waves break. This hidden ocean, a colossal reservoir deep within the earth's mantle, remains a testament to the uncharted depths beneath us. From the profound depths of the earth, we travel to the Far East, where an ancient time capsule was unearthed. In the quiet town of Tizhou, China, road workers stumbled upon an astonishing discovery in 2011. A mummy, over 700 years old, was found in a state of remarkable preservation. The mummy's clothing, still intact, bore the intricate designs of the era, a testament to the exceptional craftsmanship of ancient China. Her facial features, perfectly preserved, seemed to defy the passage of time, a serene expression etched on her face. Alongside the mummy were manuscripts, their ink faded but still legible, offering a glimpse into the thoughts and beliefs of the time. Richly adorned jewellery, their luster dimmed, but their beauty undiminished, lay scattered around her, hinting at her elevated status in society. Submerged in a mysterious brown liquid which likely contributed to the mummy's extraordinary preservation, this perfectly preserved relic offers us an intimate glance into a world over seven centuries past. The mysteries beneath us are not limited to natural phenomena, but also historical enigmas that defy our understanding. Imagine, if you will, a Roman naval fleet, not anchored in the azure waters of the Mediterranean, but buried deep within a coal seam in Serbia a place far from any current bodies of water. This puzzling discovery was made in 2020, and it has since left archaeologists and historians scratching their heads. The fleet's age and location pose significant questions. How did a Roman naval fleet end up in such an unlikely place, and why? These remnants of a bygone era, encased in layers of coal, could rewrite the pages of history we thought we knew, challenging our perceptions of Roman naval capabilities and their geographical reach. Each piece of timber, each artefact unearthed, holds the potential to unlock new insights. This incongruous find casts a new light on our understanding of the ancient Romans and their naval capabilities. The earth beneath us not only holds the relics of ancient civilizations, but also symbols of more recent historical epochs. In the verdant landscapes of England and the Czech Republic, a remarkable sight lies hidden beneath the soil. Here, artist Roger Hjorns embarked on a project steeped in symbolism, burying two Soviet-era MiG-21 fighter planes as an artistic statement. These formidable machines, once the pride of Soviet aviation, were interred as a potent symbol of the end of their developmental era. In Hyorn's view, these aircraft represent a period of intense technological advancement and political tension, a time when the world held its breath as superpowers vied for dominance. By burying these planes, he sought to encapsulate the closure of that era, a time capsule of Cold War history. The project sparked a lively debate among history enthusiasts and Cold War aficionados. Some applauded the artistic ingenuity, while others raised concerns about the preservation of historical artifacts. These buried symbols of an era past serve as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of human achievements. From the depths, we now delve into the realm of human creativity, carved into the very heart of the earth. Our journey takes us to the rugged landscapes of New Mexico, where artist Ra Paulette, over the course of three decades, transformed sandstone cliffs into breathtaking subterranean cathedrals. With only his dog for company, and a simple pickaxe in hand, Paulette sculpted intricate, ornate caves, each a unique testament to his artistic vision and resilience. These stunning underground artworks, open to the public, not only demonstrate the transformative power of human endeavor, but also inspire awe and wonder in all who visit. From the New World, we travel to the old, 
to the ancient city of Orvieto in Italy, where beneath the surface lies a 2500-year-old underground pyramid complex. This mysterious Etruscan pyramidal hippogeum, with its elaborately decorated walls, whispers tales of a civilization long past. Though its function remains a puzzle, the complex suggests significant cultural or religious activities, a testament to the Etruscans' architectural prowess and spiritual beliefs. Within these underground marvels, we witness the incredible fusion of nature and human ingenuity. Paulette's hand-carved caves, a labor of love and patience, echo the natural beauty of the New Mexico landscape, while the ancient Etruscan pyramidal hippogeum, a testament to a bygone civilization, continues to intrigue and fascinate archaeologists and historians alike. The beauty and mystery of these underground marvels, whether carved by hand or built by an ancient civilization, underscore the depth of human creativity, the desire to leave a lasting mark, and the enduring fascination with the world beneath our feet. These handcrafted wonders, hidden beneath the surface, remind us of the enduring impact of human creativity and culture. Our journey beneath the surface now takes us to a realm where history, mythology and speculation intermingle. Let's delve into four such finds that have challenged our understanding of the past and ignited our imaginations. First, we venture to the bustling heart of San Francisco, where beneath the towering skyscrapers and busy streets, a fleet of over a thousand deteriorating ships from the mid-19th century gold rush era lay silently buried. These vessels, once laden with dreams of wealth and prosperity, now serve as silent relics of a time when the city's financial district was once a bustling harbour. From there, we journey to Kalistrup, Denmark, where a peculiar artefact has surfaced. A figurine depicting a deity with a horned helmet and two faces, akin to the Roman god Janus, has been unearthed. This enigmatic find challenges our historical understanding of Nordic and Roman religious influences, suggesting a possible connection previously unimagined. Next, we find ourselves in Egypt, where construction workers stumbled upon what appears to be a second sphinx. Could it be as old as the Great Sphinx of Giza? If so, it suggests there may have been more such statues, posing intriguing questions about the grandeur and mysteries of ancient Egyptian civilization. Finally, we arrive at Rioja, Spain, where an alleged entrance to a mysterious underground base has stirred speculation and intrigue. Some believe it to be used by extraterrestrials or the military, a theory fueled by reported unusual activities and sightings in the area. While it remains a theory, it nonetheless invites us to ponder the seemingly endless mysteries our planet holds. These intriguing discoveries, steeped in history and shrouded in mystery, continue to challenge our understanding of the past and fuel our imagination. As we delve deeper into the recesses of the Earth, who knows what other enigmas we may yet unearth? From the grandeur of civilization's past, we now venture into the intricate world of insects, hidden beneath our feet. Picture this, a colossal metropolis stretching further than the Great Wall of China, buried deep in the heart of Brazil. This isn't the work of human hands, but the product of millions of industrious leaf-cutting ants. These tiny architects have carved out a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, creating an underground city on a scale that defies comprehension. Their society, organized and efficient, mirrors our own in many ways. Yet, it's a world that remains largely invisible to us. The sudden abandonment of this ant megalopolis is as baffling as its construction is awe-inspiring, leaving us with more questions than answers. This vast subterranean metropolis, carved by nature's tiny architects, testifies to the astonishing complexity of life beneath the surface. From the world of insects, we journey back to the realm of human history, to a time of nights and treasures. In 2019, archaeologists in Acre, Israel, unearthed a network of hidden tunnels. These were no ordinary passageways, but a secret labyrinth believed to have been used by the Knights Templar during the Crusades. The Knights Templar, a powerful religious military order of the Middle Ages, have long been associated with tales of immense hidden wealth. As protectors of pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land, they amassed a fortune through donations, trade and spoils of war. Historians speculate that these tunnels were a clandestine highway used to transport and hide their legendary gold. While the tangible treasures remain elusive, the discovery of these tunnels provides a priceless glimpse into the past. Beneath the ancient city of Acre, 
the whispers of history echo through the hidden Templar tunnels, tantalizing us with tales of lost treasures.